Oh, praise God, saints. On today, we're going to be praying for Mother Ruby Lee Timmons, Mother Emmon Hollingquest, Elder Henry Kimball, Artist Hollingquest, Mother Verna Robinson, Francis Matthews, Benny Buford, Donita Alexander, Edna Preston, Mother Bertie Stafford, Robert Alexander, Felicia Anderson, Pam Granger, Jasmine Miller, Anthony Terry, Jack Spicer II, Jack Spicer III, Pastor Kellis Love, Kamisha Aretha Cook, Pastor Thurnell Clayton, Denise Brown, Elaine Frank, Jessica Rucker, James Tidwell, Denise Jamerson, Veronica Vaughn, Arlinda Love Timmons, Kenneth Brown Jr., Jamie Preston, and prayers for the Preston family, Howell, Holiday, and Baker families during their time of bereavement. Also, Branlett Kimmons, Tamonte Cook, Lathan Thompson, Ranchie Caldwell Jr., Leon Ferguson, Sean Miller, and Nicholas Kimmons. Father God, we just lift these names up before your presence right now. We thank you, oh God, for each and every one, how you're touching their bodies, their physical bodies on today. How you're touching their minds, oh God. Renewing their strength. Sending out your healing virtue right now. That each and every one will receive your healing power. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. We thank you, oh God, that your power, your healing power, your presence is in the room. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are truly Hallelujah, Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth thee. I come against this spirit of infirmity. I command you to loose their bodies right now. Loose their bodies and let them go free. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah, bless your name, oh Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wherever they may be right now, let them feel your power in the room. Touch, oh God touch right now. We thank you, Lord, because you healed us over 2,000 years ago, and we still have manifestation of that healing. We thank you for what you're doing, Father. Thank you right now, oh God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you for miracle signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Bless your name, oh God. Thank you for your spirit, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for being the all-powerful one, the almighty one. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, hallelujah, because by his stripes we were healed. We were healed. Grab up and claim your healing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, we praise you because you are the healed. And the enemy is trying to make you sick. But remember, God healed you many years ago. And we thank you, oh God, for what you're doing. You're still the powerful one, the almighty God, the great I am. We love you on today. We praise you and worship you for our healing right now. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. Hallelujah. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so be it. Think you've seen the last of good times. Bad. You feel your life is in bad. 
you're not looking forward and afraid to look back but look at all the things that God has done and what he's done back then he will do the same God has a wonderful plan for your life. Can I just encourage you with this, just this little portion of this song? I just want to say that part again. Come on. Most omnipotent and omniscious, majestic God, we thank you for your loving care and your tender mercies. Lord, I stand before you, humble myself before your people, that you will send your anointing that breaks every yoke. There are conditions, Lord, in our world, in our society, in our community that needs your attention. Lord, we need your help. For you said, look towards the hills from which cometh our help, knowing that our help cometh from you. I ask that you would just, Lord, shower your presence upon me, and that you will wipe my lips clean. Lord, that you will purge me with hips up so that the words that I express, Lord, will penetrate to the hearts and the minds of your people. Tie my tongues to your truth, that those that would hear your word will be liberated and set free. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Come on right where you are, just begin to put your hands together and give God glory, give him praise, give him honor. Come on and magnify his name. Come on, lift him up. 
Come on and glorify him. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord, the name, the precious name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. One more time. Just give him glory. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're midway in the month of July, and I just celebrated, amen, another year, amen, in my life, amen. I'm yet still expecting God to do some wonderful things, amen, that he has in store, amen. And he has some wonderful things, even in the midst, amen, of the things that we're going through currently right now. He has some wonderful things, amen, in store for you. We're going to go, amen, to the word of the Lord, which is found in Psalms 139, 1 through 14. Psalms 139, 1 through 14, a familiar passage, amen, written uh, by uh, David, King David, 139, verses 1 through 14. And the word of the Lord says, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsitting and my uprising. Thou understandest thou afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I cannot attain it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into the heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, Behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me, and yea, the darkness hideth not from thee. But the night shineth as the day, the darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my, my reins, and thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My subject, amen, uh, to you today is because he's sovereign, he will see you through. Aren't you glad that you serve a sovereign God that out of the things that makes no sense, he works them out just for your good? For the, there's no doctrine is more despised by the natural mind than the truth that God is absolutely sovereign. Human pride loathes, amen, to suggest that God orders everything and controls everything, rules and rules over everything. The carnal mind, amen, burning the, with enmity against God, abhors the biblical teachings that nothing comes to pass except according to his eternal decrees. And most of all, the flesh hates the notion that salvation is entirely all God's work. And I'm so glad that it's nothing but God's work, amen, because if it was Trump's work, hallelujah, amen, he calls himself God, you know, if it was Trump's work, amen, we would all be dead right now. If God chose, amen, who he would be, who would, who would be saved, saved, if his choice was settled before the foundation of the world, then believers deserve no credit for their salvation. God's sovereignty is his absolute right to do all things according to his own good pleasure. 
And although Christians might confess the existence and power of a sovereign God, fear, amen, and even of those, amen, that are not Christian, fear can creep into the heart, amen, even of a believer, amen, as they wrestle with daily living struggles and we wonder why, as they witness natural disasters worldwide and we wonder why. As rumors of war rises at every opportunity, and we wonder why. As loved ones are taken by death, we ponder and we wonder why. And even as we who are alive face death daily, we even wonder why. But in spite of these and other devastating events we may face in life, there is a sovereign God that still rules and reigns this world, and yes, he is still in control. Yes, it may seem grim, even praise the Lord, amen, with the numbers are rising. Yes, praise the Lord, amen, the pandemic is going. Yes, there is civil unrest yet still going. Chaos going over in the state of Oregon, praise the Lord, but yet God is yet still in control. One psalm was right, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. If you're glad that he is an awesome God, if you know with a certainty, without a doubt, that he is an awesome God, come on, just wave your hand, praise the Lord, amen, and just say, God is an awesome God. How easily, amen, in good times and in fate, we fear and we doubt and we forget about God. No one can escape observing such a magnificent wonder. God is just as near to us as our souls are to our own body. As the Holy Spirit dwells within each believer and in every living, living creature, the Word of God says is, Do you know not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. I'm telling you right now, this is certainly a time that each and every one of us, even those and men who praise don't even know God, don't praise or believe in God. This is a time that we should be on our knees calling on the name of the Lord. This is why when men, man sins, whether it is unto his flesh, or the lust of, or unto his behavior, or bad habits, or even a temper, or filth, or, 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 or filth uh, insults, or, or filth insults God. One thing God for certain is that God we serve has perfect knowledge of us and all the emotions and the emotions and the actions and both of our outward and both of our inward self. Therefore, man should therefore desire of God that when he see sin in our hearts, that he may reveal it to us that we might walk in perfect peace in his presence. There's no reason that man to hide from God, praise because we cannot hide from a sovereign God. We may never understand why God allows things to happen unto his creation. Nobody else proves God's plan before he can execute them. Nobody else must be informed before God can fulfill his desires. Nobody else, amen, have to applaud God's decisions before he endorses them. And nobody have to uh, have favor God's intentions before he can even perform them. For it was David said in the 89th Psalm, he says, For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? Having omnipotent power means that God can 
do. He can do. He can do whatever. He can do whenever. He can do. He can do what he pleases. God can do when he pleases. God can do where he pleases. God can do why he pleases. And God can do, praise the Lord, as he pleases. God does not have to submit to any other support, so superior. Uh, neither does he have to answer to any other authority. No, the doers does he have to report to any other ruler. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Neither does he have to pray simply because there is no other superior, no other authority, no other ruler, praise the Lord, over him or above him, neither beneath him. Thank you, Jesus. And knowing that God is omnipotent, there is therefore no circumstance that can, strength, can restrict him and no adversity that can hinder him and no situation that constrain him and no power that can control him. Hallelujah. No enemy that can defeat him and no obstruction that can block him. Hallelujah. No force. Hallelujah. No Praise the Lord, demon, no adversary, no plot, no plot, praise the Lord, that can limit the power of God. The sovereignty of his omnipresence is to be praised. Why? Because he is just simply present everywhere. Hallelujah. He's in the heavens. He's in the earth. Hallelujah. He's in the, the leaves of the trees. Hallelujah. He's even in our pets. Hallelujah. That, that goes from day to day. He's in the birds, the fowls and the airs flies from east to west. Hallelujah. And they care not what they eat or what they drink. In matter of fact, he tells us, care not what we eat or drink. Is it not he, praise the Lord, great enough? omnipotent enough, sovereign enough to take care of our needs. So in every place, God is behind us and he is before us. No one can escape from him. There's nothing, no hiding place from a sovereign God. There's no place in the heavens that you can't find God. Neither upon the face of the earth, God is there. Even in the depths of hell, God is there. Climb to the highest mountain and you can soar to the lowest valley. Dive into the deepest sea. God, hallelujah, is there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In every darkness and of the earth, God is there. Many have tried, but it is impossible to run from the very presence of a sovereign God. Thank you, Jesus. When a sovereign God calls, you just got to answer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And if I were you right now, what's going on in our world, I would answer the name of the Lord. When I hear his name call, I would, I would, I would, I, I would hearken to his voice. Hallelujah. I would hearken to the name. Once I hear that name, I will fall to my knees and stretch out my hands. Father, what shall I do? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, everyone should be running a man to a sovereign God. Hallelujah. The sovereignty of his omnipotent power is to be praised. The evidence of God's power is revealed through, uh, uh, through his creation. Who else but God could create our innermost being? The mechanisms that controls us, our mind, that controls, hallelujah, our heartbeat, hallelujah, that controls our will. Pray. Sometimes we don't know what we ought to do. Sometimes we don't know what we ought to say, hallelujah. When it, was, it was Paul that says that when I would do good, evil is presence hallelujah thank you jesus sometimes we don't praise the lord amen even even uh, 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 speak if we feel like uh, uh, speaking the things that, that that we ought to speak but 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 he but he says that in the womb of a woman he formed and he wooed us we are fearfully and wonderfully made by the hands of god we are living our living temple a living vessel made for worship. 
Yes, yes, this is a time of worship. This is a time of praise. This is a time of lifting up a most sovereign God. This is a time that we should be looking towards the hills from which cometh our help, knowing that our help cometh from the Lord. This is a time that when we are weak, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, knowing that he has all power, that he will make us strong. This is a time, hallelujah, that we cannot be slack in our promise of hallelujah. We cannot be a, a slowful man in Zion, hallelujah, but we must remain on the, uh, on the battlefield for the Lord. We must remain steadfast and immovable and abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The signs and the wonders, amen, they're yet still going forth. Hallelujah. He's performing it right before our eyes, even in this pandemic. Thank you, Jesus. Throughout life's journey, many disappointments will come and go. David had experienced life's ups and downs in this passage. And, and after a long prayer of thanksgiving, David submits a cup of request unto God. But his requests, hallelujah, are not what most people would expect his requests to be. Most people would have asked a man for good health. Most people would have asked a man for riches. Most people would have asked a man for peace of mind. Most people would have asked for, for earthly possessions. But David asked to search me, Lord. Hallelujah. Search me for any wicked way. Sin is complicated and complex and cannot always be seen. Sin clings, amen, to the thought of man and his words and his deeds. No one should not consider coming to an almighty God requesting anything before, the, before first considering their shortcomings and their sins. For it was Isaiah that said uh, uh, that I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Hallelujah. And then he said, woe is me for I am undone. Yes, yes, yes. We are wretched and we are undone. This flesh, hallelujah, mine. This flesh, amen, that we're wrapped with. Well, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This flesh that each and every one of us endure with, praise the Lord, it is undone. And it is bound and it will return to the dust of the ground. Hallelujah. And our spirit shall return to the maker that gave, praise the Lord, the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that we, we must acknowledge sin. Hallelujah. Before we come to a holy God. David asks, praise the Lord, I mean, the Lord of God to know his thoughts. Who can know the very inner thoughts of man but God? God can see through the troubled mind, the perplexed mind, hallelujah, the distressed mind, the mind that is full with anxiety and worry, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He can pull through, through the thoughts of every man. He can see the anxious thoughts and then the thoughts of mal uh, maliciousness and hatred and perverse thinking. He can see through the mind of who's been hurt, who's been in pain, disappointment, and the effects of their struggles in life. Thank you, Jesus. David knew the sovereignty of the God that he was standing before. Thank you, Jesus. He knew that he was praising a God that is unlimited in power, and he was everywhere. Such as a God is worthy of our trust and devotion. How can we request anything of him and we don't trust God? Isn't it somehow sometimes that, that we trust him in this matter, but sometimes we don't trust him here? Hallelujah. It, the Bible says in everything that we must give thanks and we must trust the Lord. Hallelujah. Trust the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways, in every way, whether it's on the job, whether it's in, involved with your relationship, whether it's involved with your finances, whether it's involved, praise the Lord, with your household, whether it's involved with your spouse, and everything, praise the Lord, uh, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Yes, such a God is worthy of our trust and devotion. 
How can we request anything from him if we don't trust him? Just think about how often he failed or that we failed to trust God. How often we let our minds and our thoughts drift away and our thoughts control us. And rather than trusting in an almighty God and an all wise God. So David asks, God, lead me in the everlasting way. Lead me to the way of righteousness. For your righteousness alone can lead me to everlasting life. If you have ever been weary and well-doing, if you ever have been burdened and heavy laden, come on, man, to, the, um, to Emmanuel's fountain that is filled with blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Let him cleanse you and wash you and make you whole again. I mean, let him reshape and reform you. Thank you, Jesus. As only he has fearfully and wonderfully made you in his image and in his likeness. For the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause you to hear my word. Then I went down to the potter's house. And there he was making something, and praise the Lord, on the wheel. Yes, yes, yes. All of us, praise the Lord, in this moment and this time, even though it may sometimes seem fearful, but God is working on our case. Rest assured that he's working on our business. Rest assured that he's working on our circumstances. Rest assured that he's working on our situation. He's working it all out for our good. And Jeremiah said, in the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter so he made it again into another vessel and and it seemed good to the potter hallelujah to make then the word of the lord came to me hallelujah to 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 jeremiah and he said "O house of israel can i not do with you as this potter says the lord hallelujah look as the clay is in the potter's hand so are you in my hand O house of israel this is what god is saying to us right now today god is saying am i not god am i not sovereign enough that i cannot solve your problems thank you jesus am i not hallelujah sovereign enough that I cannot deliver you from the devourer. Thank you, Jesus. Am I not sovereign enough that I cannot heal you from your diseases and your sicknesses? Hallelujah. Can I not save you? Hallelujah. Can I not wipe, praise the Lord, and protect you from this pandemic? Thank you, Jesus. Can I not deliver you? Can I not heal your land? If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Yes, what we got to do, we got to, right now in the situation, we got to begin to call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you call on the name of Jesus, he will answer. He will come and answer. He will fix your situation. He will come by and by. If you call on the name of Jesus, he will will heal our land hallelujah bless his name call he's so he's saying call me by name call me alpha and omega call me for i am the beginning i am the end for i am sovereign thank you jesus come on right there if you believe that god is sovereign if you believe that he's sovereign enough to solve your situations i don't know what your plight might be but right there just coming in to put your hands together and begin to glorify a great and magnificent God hallelujah that has all power in his hands hallelujah he's yet still sitting high and he's looking low and he sees
sees the way in which you go. He knows your struggle and he knows your pain. He knows what's happening in the White House. He knows what's happening, hallelujah, in the Congress. He knows what's happening, praise the Lord, over in Oregon. He knows, praise the Lord, what's happening right here in the Bay Area. He knows what's going on in your homes, hallelujah. He is sovereign, Thank you, Jesus. Right where you are, just lift up your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. We serve a sovereign God. We serve a majestic God. Magnificent in all his ways. There's nothing that he cannot do. For he cannot fail. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that occurs in society that occurs in this life is because he's perfect. He does not go against his word, for if he has given man dominion of the earth, the disease and the phenomenal things that happens in this world, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The occurrences of this side and the current events, they happen because of sin. Bless his name. But he's sovereign enough to keep us. To keep us from falling. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, as we stand here before you now, God, we know that you are omnipotent in all your ways. Once it has been said, twice have we heard that power belongs to God. You hold the whole world in your hands and you can, yes, hold even my frail body, my petty situations, my small circumstances, right in the palm of your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So God, so we ask that you will come, that you will come, hallelujah, to our rescue, that you will come to our plea, that you will Come and you will hearken to our voice. Yes, Lord, many, many have been calling. Many have been calling upon your name. And we need a savior. We need a deliverer. We need a healer. Thank you, Jesus. With your sovereignness, Lord, heal our lands and cause our plights to change, Lord. Cause the disease and the sicknesses that is going through rapidly through this world, oh God, hallelujah, to turn from its ways. Thank you, Jesus. All the wicked things that we see, Lord, hallelujah, the devices that the enemy has been using from our government, oh God, to make things to appear that they appear what they really are not, hallelujah, for the cause and the sake of civil rights, Lord, we ask that you avenge the avenger. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, yes. You are a God of justice. You are a God of peace. You are a God of injustice. Yes, Lord, you rectify those things that are wrong and you make those things that are not right. You make them right, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So we ask, oh God, that you would give us the strength to stand still. Let us stand still and see your purpose. Let us stand still and see your will, Lord. Let us stand still, God. And as we're standing, Lord, let us yet still speak. Let us pray, Lord, that your kingdom come and that your will be done as it is here on earth let it so be in heaven lord and all that in our going and on our doing let thy will be done 
In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And amen. Hallelujah. 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 Bless his name. The presence of the Lord is here. His word is powerful, and we thank him for speaking to our hearts. Continuing to lead us and guide us, hallelujah. And so Lord, we yield to you now, hallelujah. We yield to your voice. God, the speaking spirit is here now, hallelujah. And so we agree with your word. We say amen to your word. Hallelujah. And so we just take just a moment, hallelujah, while we consider your directions while we consider the word that you've spoken to us, hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes, 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 hallelujah. Wherever you are, you can slip those hands up and just receive him now, hallelujah. Whatever he's spoken to you, hallelujah. Agree with him, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. for the distribution of healthy and nutritious meals as Ephesians of Richmond feeds the harvest. All meals are prepackaged and ready to go. Volunteers are waiting to serve you. Again, 
That's Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. here at Ephesians of Richmond, Church of God in Christ, 2887 Foothill Avenue, Richmond, California. Ephesians Community Development Center, in partnership with the USDA, invites you to come by and receive a free box of fresh fruits and vegetables. The boxes will be available every Friday from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Supplies are limited to one box per household and will be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis. We are located inside the Richmond Village at 2887 Foothill Avenue in the city of Richmond, and we are waiting to serve you. You can join in on our virtual worship experiences via Facebook Live, YouTube, Zoom, and our website, which is www.ecogicrca.org. Again, that's www.ecogicrca.org. We invite you to walk through the Bible with us as we present inspiring lessons filled with practical advice for everyday living during our Sunday School. Sunday School takes place at 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings via Zoom. Immediately following Sunday School at 11.30 a.m., we welcome you to experience the glory, experience the worship, and experience the praise with us during our virtual morning worship service. Tuesdays at 6 p.m., meet us for prayer via Zoom. Message us your prayer request via Facebook and we'll add your request to the prayer list. After prayer concludes, our Bible study begins at 7 p.m. Whether you're a seasoned Bible scholar or a newbie, we invite you to expand your knowledge, feed your faith, and empower yourself with sound teaching and the Word of God. Coming soon! Join us as we launch the ECDC Technology Center. This will serve as a no-fee community technology and computer training center grand opening and ribbon cutting information to follow. If you would like to partner with us here at Ephesians of Richmond and sow a seed into this ministry, we have multiple giving platforms to help you do so. Our cash app ID is dollar sign E-C-O-G-I-C-R-C-A. If you would like to give via PayPal, you can use our email address, which is E-C-O-G-I-C-R-C-A rca at gmail.com if you want to give via the pray.com platform you can search our name which is ephesians of richmond and lastly you can go to our website which is www.ecogicrca.org and follow the prompts for giving thank you so much